Hi, my name's Rob Scott from UC Today, bringing you the latest news and conversation from the unified communications and collaboration space. So today I'm joined by Akshay John, who's a principal cloud systems engineer at Ribbon. And we're going to be discussing how you can move your PBX securely to Zoom phone. Welcome, Akshay. Hello, Rob. Good to see you again. How are you? Yeah, really good. Really good. Well, better now. We're kind of you know towards the, the end of this uh, kind of lockdown period here in the UK. But um, yeah, so good to see you again. So we've got an interesting session lined up, haven't we? So um, before we get started, however, how about um, we just do a quick intro, actually. Just tell us a little bit about what you do and uh, who Ribbon are. Absolutely. So Ribbon Communications roots are in real time communications. We are a global company that delivers uh, communication software, security software, and IP optical networking solutions to service providers, enterprises, as well as critical infrastructures. Within Ribbon, I'm part of uh, an as a service business team where our focus is to make it easier for our customers to migrate off legacy PBX platforms towards cloud-based communications and collaboration solutions. And as you would agree, uh, these are especially relevant in the current global work from anywhere landscape. And that's basically what I focus on day and night. Well, you must be a busy man actually, because uh, it seems like everyone's migrating off the PBX or trying to connect the PBX to the cloud at the moment in some way. Um, so today we're gonna to talk about Zoom. Now, we don't, I don't think Zoom needs introducing, but you know, Zoom have now got something like, what, what is it, 300 million daily users on their platform? And as you say, you know, enterprises and, and you know, businesses that are using Zoom are probably now looking at additional capabilities like moving their phone system technology or cloud voice into, into that kind of Zoom realm. So I suppose um, what I was keen to just understand, first of all, is that, you know, I'm hearing bring your own carrier or BYOC is a, is a key part of that equation uh, for any organization looking to move uh you know their, their, their cloud voice into zoom so first of all could you tell me how how byoc works with zoom phone sure yeah and i think it's fair to say for those of us who weren't already familiar with zoom the last year has provided many opportunities uh, for each of us to really become experts whether it's uh, round table lunches with family or you know calling up friends and having video conversations um, for most Zoom users, collaboration is focused on intra-organizations, if you look at it from the business perspective. So intra-organizations communications. So, so and so within the Zoom cloud itself. There is, however, a growing need for organizations to integrate Zoom with the public switch telephone network, or PSTN, also known as phone lines. Uh, this allows Zoom users to place and receive calls using their Zoom client making themselves accessible to customers and partners everywhere. So not just within the Zoom cloud itself. For this to happen, two of Zoom's capabilities work together. The first one is Zoom phone, and this is Zoom's PBX application. It could be running on a PC. It could be a desk phone or a desk device. It could be running on a mobile phone as a client. And what this gives you or the user is a dial pad and phone features to make and receive calls. So that's a Zoom phone. Um, along with that comes in Zoom's Bring Your Own Carrier solution, or the BYOC. This allows organizations to connect that, their phone lines, the numbers, as well as their calling plans to Zoom phone directly with a carrier or in concert with an existing PBX they might have on-prem. So Zoom phone with uh, the Bring Your Own Carrier, or BYOC, enables a customer to call a user from any mobile landline on a PSTN number, and that will then bring the Zoom user's phone client. Conversely, the Zoom phone user can then call out to customers, partners, or even call to order a takeaway from their phone now that you know, restrictions are easing a little bit. Um, and the bring your own carrier part makes it easy to trans transition these numbers basically from an old PBX platform over to Zoom phone. Great stuff, thanks for explaining that. So I suppose Zoom phone, um, I think there's now like uh, over a million uh, users now on the Zoom phone platform. So it's obviously quite a popular um, you know, phone system or cloud phone system platform. Um, you know, the SBC piece, I'm, I'm intrigued. Why, you know, why use an SBC? Because, you know, Zoom could, you know, maybe using their BYOC connect straight to a carrier, but what, what value does the, an SBC bring to the equation? Now, I think, I think the SBC term was uh, quite, quite rare and not many people knew about it 15, 20, 10 years ago. 
Um, and then it became an optional entity, provided value uh, coming into real-time communications. But now I think we're well past that stage where the SPC is embedded into a real-time communications solution. So it's not no more an optional entity, it's, it's doing something over there. In the context of all the features that it has, I'll pick out three important things that become relevant for this SPC for any uh, company's connection to a telecom provider, because that's what we're talking about over here. So for any secure connection to the telecom provider, if you look at what the SPC is doing, first of all, it is encrypting all the traffic so that any bad actors trying to eavesdrop and listen in on a conversation are unable to do so. It is then also inspecting all the traffic and the profile of the senders to make sure that no one gets unauthorized access into the users' network. Because, I mean, we've heard of things like toll fraud um, and, you know, people getting hit with huge bills for calls they haven't made. So that's another thing the SBC is doing. Uh, and then specifically in the, in the whole scheme of things of interoperability, as I mentioned earlier on, Zoom phone and the bring, bring your own carrier work uh, in tandem to break out either through um, uh, an existing PBX or directly over to the carrier. Now that brings with it some complexities that have to do with interoperability between carriers and between the Zoom uh, side of things. So the SPC has those tuning controls, whether it's tweaking your signaling, whether it's tweaking the media part of it, getting rid of parameters, hiding information, adding information. So the, it will have those tuning controls to make this interoperability part easier as well. So if you look at these three things in particular, in the context of Zoom phone with the BYOC, these are quite relevant and bring in the value of the SPC in the solution. Great. And when it comes to the, you know, the use cases, you know, what are the deployment options here that are most common? So Ribbon has options. Um, and uh, as, as we were chatting earlier and you said, I'm going to say everything. And that's true. Ribbon has options uh, so that companies can deploy the SPCs as hardware. Um, they can deploy them as virtualized software. And they can also deploy these SPCs in the public cloud instances. So there's no right answer for deployment. Every customer has their own requirements and they have their own deployment situation. So they could have certain restrictions. They could have certain guidelines from management. They could have certain technical limitations. Um, so there's no really um, uh, hard and fast, and this is how you do the deployment. And that's why we say that the options are available. What we are seeing more and more is an interest in public cloud deployments, Azure, AWS. And from Ribbon's perspective, part of our job is to make it transparent to companies as to what model they decide to choose. So they will all offer the same services and they will all fulfill the same requirement and serve the same functionality. So how they deploy it will be quite flexible. And in terms of that flexibility, we have the SPCs that will fit the solution. We also bring in the piece along with the technical aspect here of financial flexibility. So CapEx or OpEx purchasing models are both available when you're factoring that part of uh, uh, the scoping in to deployment of the SPCs. Great, so a, a true cloud model, I suppose, in, in, in that case, if you want it that way, fantastic. Um, okay, so, I'm an organization, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm serious about, you know, connecting Zoom phone in to, to my estate uh, in, in whatever that might be. Um, what's the best way to get started? What would you recommend the starting point be? Uh, what advice would you give? So one of the key aspects of implementing the solution for Zoom phone is to plan and to consider a solid integration and migration approach. Why is that? Because most enterprises have built business processes and tool sets. And this could be around their existing voice infrastructure, regardless of which vendor, where they have it deployed and how they are using it. So when they move these core aspects onto another platform, it can be quite a challenge. And it's not necessarily something that uh, teams in-house can handle. This is where Ribbon's partner community comes in. And the big value that they bring with them is to architect and plan the best migration approach because they've been doing it for years. They've been doing it across uh, various different sizes of the organizations, along with their complexities and challenges that come in. So they have that experience. So from Ribbon's um, perspective, uh, we provide a comprehensive range of solutions that can fit any enterprise deployment. And the value our partners bring in is having that expertise to design and implement these solutions. And these solutions will then move in line with the customer's migration to Zoom phone, as well as to the cloud. Because remember, for many customers, um, moving to the cloud in itself is a huge step to take. Um, 
in a way, the last year has really pushed a lot of people into this direction because they have been contemplating it, they've been planning it. It has been going on through trials and demos and scoping in the lab and you know the financials, all of it. And suddenly over the last year, this has just been gone like, boom, you're in the water, you need to do it, you need to do it quickly. And that's where I think the value of such, such collaboration platforms like Zoom come in. And, and we are growing with that and we're enjoying this ride. It's a busy time, but absolutely enjoying it. That's great. And for anyone looking for more information uh, on this topic, what's the best way to get in touch? So easiest would be to go onto the Ribbon website, so rbbn.com, and there is a specific section within that website with a landing page on how to bring Zoom phone and bring your own carrier into the organizations and plan around it. And um, there's, there's uh, ample opportunity to get in touch uh, through uh, that platform with the right people who will guide you through the solution and take you to, through the next steps. Great. And we'll put that link in the description for you so you can go straight uh, to the Zoom phone section. Um, and Akshay, you know, as always, it's been great speaking to you today. Thank you so much for joining me. And the same, Rob. It's been uh, always a great opportunity to speak with you and discuss what's relevant out in the telecoms field right now. And as we were joking, we get excited about things like session border controllers and PBXs and telecom lines. So uh, keep keep that going. <laughs> yeah, you weren't supposed to say that on camera, though. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely. It's all good stuff. Lots happening. So, And that's it from us. If you've enjoyed today's session, please subscribe to UC Today News and give this video a quick share on social as it's always appreciated. And if you're a UC fan and want to be part of the conversation, you can join us on LinkedIn or Twitter or Facebook using the UC News hashtag. Uh, and the links are also in the description. So I'm Rob Scott from UC Today. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye.